Hey there. Today, I'll show you how you can complete the equipment upgrade that will give you more plates on deployment. Please keep in mind that parts of this are currently bugged, and they probably will not be in the future. This includes the kill streaks instantly counting for the second stage and not getting a fifth plate once the third stage is completed. I'll also include a bonus tip regarding the third stage and how you can easily complete it. I'll explain a bit more about each once I get to that point in the video. As always, if you find these guys useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on it. Let's start with the first stage. You can find the eight stronghold cards in every shop for $5,000 each. Or you can kill a couple of enemies and have them drop one. It's up to you how you want to do this. Just don't forget that these do not stack. You can buy them on any map and dead drop them on any map as well. But if you decide to take the cheaper route, I suggest Vondel. I feel that because of the number of bots there, it's somewhat easier to get a card to spawn. For the skeleton key, it's fairly self-explanatory. Keep in mind that the key can have just one use left on it, and the progress will update when you drop it, so save those pristine keys for something else. Other than mission drops, the skeleton key can only be bartered for in shops. Each map has a different barter for it, so make sure you prepare accordingly. Once the necessary items are put inside a dumpster, starting from your next deployment, you will have three armor plates instead of two. Just to clear any possible confusion, this refers to armor plates, meaning the plates you put inside your armor vest. I saw a few people confused, thinking they get a three-plate vest. That is not the case here. Knowing the developers, you'll probably have to pay 30 bucks for that feature. Moving on, you have the second stage that is currently bugged. The 10 kill streaks automatically completed for pretty much everyone, so use that to your advantage as soon as possible. Since I didn't do this part, I assume it can be any kill streak, so just buy them or find them in active combat zone boxes. For the second part, you need to extract five night vision goggles. The key word here is extract, not put inside a dumpster dead drop. MVGs have a guaranteed spawn inside the Koshi complex, and you can find three in each wing side room and a lot more inside the chemical plant area. If you're not a big fan of Koshi, look for them inside green military crates, as well as the orange ones. Or, you can try your luck searching in toolboxes as well. Once you extract five, and either have the first part auto-completed, or you dead drop ten kill streaks, starting from your next deployment, you will have a total of four armor plates. Three inside the reserve slot, and one inside your backpack. For the final stage, full disclosure, personally, I don't think this part is currently worth the hassle. At the end of this part, I will share a method that I utilized on how to have a somewhat consistent spawn for the lockets, dolls, and insulin. It took me about 20 games of constantly looking for these 15 items, excluding the dog bank and cat statue. On top of that, currently, this part is bugged, meaning that when you deploy, instead of five plates, you still have four from the previous tier. This will hopefully be fixed, and I can see it being useful in building 21, for example. So it's up to you what you want to do. To extract five heart lockets, you need to keep your eyes open. This is what you are looking for. Now, they can spawn in a few different places and can even drop from killed bots. I have seen that these bots need to be either tier 2 or 3 in order for them to spawn. I have never seen it drop from the level 1 bots, but if you have, I'd love to know so please let me know in the comments below. I have seen a few locations where this is fairly common, 
such as lockers and inside hidden caches. For me, personally, lockers in Almazra seem to give the most of these lockets, but I bet it's just dumb luck. They can also spawn inside jackets. And of course, kill bots can have a chance to drop few. Here are two that I don't need anymore because I completed the task. Does anyone else feel that the game intentionally spawns more of the things you don't need? Moving on, you need five vials of insulin. These things are extremely small and can be hard to see, especially if a bot you killed drops it. It can also spawn inside hidden caches, but it's very random. What I suggest is to go to Vondel and open medicine cabinets. Personally, I have never seen it spawn inside a first aid kit, but instead, I've seen it a lot inside medicine cabinets. Almost every house in Vondel has a medicine cabinet. The two bike parking toilets have three each as well. For me, Vondel was the place to get these vials, and that is where I suggest you try your luck as well. Next on the list are small dolls. I had so many issues finding this item, and when I found my last one, my game crashed. Sad times. Similar to the previous two items, small dolls can be found pretty much anywhere. They can be found inside jackets as ground loot dropped from higher tier enemies and from lockers. Personally, I had the most luck finding these inside armories in Almazra. Just look for ammo depots inside buildings. That's the armory. Eventually, you will find five. I do have a bonus tip on how you can try and find all these items. Personally, this method did not work for me but I see a lot of players report that it's working for them. So grab or barter for a fire department key, go to Vondel and loot the entire building. Focus on the lockers and the jackets because these two are where you have a chance to find either vials of insulin, toy dolls, or even heart lockets. I cleared the fire station about six times and I only found one heart locket and a few insulin vials. You can try this method, or try to loot lockers found inside warehouses in Almazra. Try to loot jackets inside normal houses and look on tables. It's not consistent. It's definitely not fun, but it's part of an equipment upgrade. The dog bank and cat statue are an Ashika Island exclusive item. They are both somewhat rare items that you can find inside duffel bags, lockers, and similar. The good part about these items is that once you find one and extract it, you get to keep it. What I suggest you do is, as soon as you find one of these, head for extraction and head to either Vondel or Almazra. Keep either item in your backpack and just extract with it. Do this until you extract them five times. Now again, once you extract all the necessary items currently, you won't get your fifth plate, so there's that. And that should be it. If you need help or players to play with, I put a link in the description for a Discord you can check out. As always, thanks for watching.